Jabin Tai, it's me, the Jabin here, and welcome to Fly with the Jabin. And today I decided to give you a tour of our little backyard farm. So let's get started. All right, here we go. So we have to go through that gate, and then we have another gate here. Um, for this, I just use a carabiner to lock it up. This is how you get into our backyard. Uh, and this is our whole backyard. It's this big. Yeah. Lots and lots of chickens, of course. <laughs> so here we have the first garden, the main garden. And actually, I'll show you inside. So. This is our lock. And in here, this is our compost box. So I put all the chicken poop inside. Yep. And we're going to use this. So that's all the compost for our garden. So our garden is very sustainable, which is really nice. We have a lot of vegetables growing here. Ooh, and some trees too, for fruit. Yes, and I just close that little gate and lock it like so. Just like that. So here, we have a line of small chicken coops for the younger ones before we can put them in the main one. We have a total of 18 chickens. Um, three roosters and 15 females. We might think one of them of the chicks might be a male, so it could be four roosters and 14 females, but we'll see. So here we have the baby chicks. They're right in there. They're so cute. And the feeders I use are these things that, you know, people in like, like, you know, like mechanics and stuff for storage stuff. Uh, my dad works at AT&T and he brought these home because they were about to throw them out. And so uh, he recycled them and now we're using them as waterers and feeders for our chickens. And we saved a lot of money because of that. So there's another coop. This one is for the three roosters. And as soon as the baby chicks get older, we will put them into the first one. And they will stay in here until they get big enough to be with the adult chickens. Yeah. And so we do let our chickens out um, just so they have, you know, room to run around and roam. So this is the first coop. It's a bigger coop to fit five inside. And then three of our layer, our bigger layers go into this coop. And I am not done with this one yet. Still need to finish up fixing up this floor and putting back their little ladder to their nest boxes. Yep. So that's that. Here's some more chickens, you can see. Okay, some trees growing. Over here we have another gate. This leads to the back garden where we try to keep the chickens out too. That's why there's a gate. And here's the back garden, which is really nice. I forgot what these plants are. But I'm excited. <laughs> Some vines growing here. I don't remember what this is, but I'm excited still. And then th I know that this is eggplant. It's gonna be really yummy. Hopefully, we can get the big eggplants too. That would be great. And this is our little mango tree. We're trying to draw mangoes. 
we'll see how that goes. Alright. So let's go down. Oops. And over here is our little storage facility for all the food and bedding. That's just the door to keep the chickens out. And then it was raining uh, yesterday and the day before, so I use this to cover it up so the water won't get through. And I will show you. So on this side, we have all the food and stuff. And I do add a special mix to the regular food just to give them a little extra boost in calcium and stuff like that and for their health and if you'd like to see more um, videos of like information on how to take care of, of how I take care of my chickens um, definitely leave a comment down below or just like this video and I'd be happy to do that for you guys okay and over here we have the bedding that we use for the nest boxes just Open that up. It's right there. I need to buy some more, as you can tell. So yeah, this is just our little storage facility to keep everything. And then it's been pretty cold here in San Diego, so I, I, to be safe, I just keep this on top. Yeah. So that's our little storage facility. And I think about it for now or let's see um oh yes let's go back here uh this is my little shelf of stuff <laughs> stuff and um i have a little drill here just in case if i need to maintain some stuff i do need to charge it um and then under here because it was raining these are some of my tools that i use for like measuring and stuff and cutting and all that good stuff. I think I need to clean this out and dry it or leave it out to dry. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. So that goes there. And then this is um, Brog's apple cider vinegar. I use this um, at least once a week or so. Uh, for my chickens and the and I put in my water and for each gallon you put in two tablespoons but we can talk more about that in another video if you'd like to see a video like that um, and yeah some hand sanitizer stuff this is for after yep and then yeah I could show you all the stuff that I use in a different video and then I have this to clean up poop inside if I want to scrape it off and then this, um, I don't use any chemicals in the chicken coop for cleaning. This is just vinegar water to disinfect the coop when I'm cleaning them out like I did today. All right, so that's our whole backyard. Not much to really show, um, but we have been getting eggs recently. Like, I'll show you. Today in, in the morning, two of our chickens laid eggs. So we have two this morning. Um, the most we get daily would have to be, I would say, average would be like around two or three. Um, but we have four chickens that are actually laying. So yeah, just gonna keep that there until I have to bring it back in. So yeah, that is our little farm that we have in our backyard. And I do recommend like if you, you know, have a really good space and stuff. Um, I highly recommend check out your zoning rules and get some chickens. I mean, if you feed, if you know what you're feeding them, the eggs are definitely a lot healthier um, for you. L lower cholesterol um, in your eggs, and they just taste a lot better. All right, Jaybird, so that's all I have for you guys for today, and I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, go ahead and thumbs up this video, because that would be cool. And don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe to my channel, because that would help me out a lot. And you can also follow me on Facebook, Instagram, and Snapchat. So, Jaybird, what time is it? It's time to fly away. It's time to fly away. I'll see you guys next time. God bless, and remember, love God, love people. Bye!